trying to find some words of words. I think what hurts. Yeah. 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 But my self-critical mind's been chaining me with fear. Fear of revealing what is real and what I really feel. Because I've seen hippies walk out of gigs because they only want to hear of life. Yeah. Yeah. Same way those Babylonians only listen to that media trite and it sent me into hiding. But no more. I unfold the crease in my creative blindness, my self-denial, and I release. Because it's not just me. We are drowning. The propaganda machine's done satisfactorily. All aims and objectives have been met. We are at war. Have you felt it yet? Or have you seen the kids on the street heroelessly fighting the machine while still living a get-rich-quick dream? It's obscene. Bastards all around, garbage garage sounds, nothing underground. Damn pow! Right. Pow! Yeah. pow Oi! Right. That gun ain't fake! <laughs> yeah, officer, but I thought I was playing a video game. <laughs> For Christ's sake, what? Yeah, you heard right. Any sense of right, blasted right, right out of sight. So what do you want me to say? It'll be okay. Funnily enough, I don't always feel that way. So what are you going to do? Walk out again, cradle yourself in your own self-denial? I'll tell you what, I tried it. It only works for a while until it lets slip and you're really drowning in it. Developed world, developed shit. Yes! yes. Developed arms. Will somebody care if my baby dies? Or does it depend on which side? I will. You see, elsewhere, <laughs> she lies face down in the street where road and pavement meet, chin curb eating, bleeding from her right ear, half crying, wondering why as she's dying that someone's chosen this. For there are no nameless nobodies here. Though her body will soon no longer be a vehicle. A mere momentary picture, postcard of another victim of war. What for, she thinks, as she blinks in, ground level images flickering by, herself in silence, realising any cries will merely eke out what's left of life as she eases out her breath, chin cleft, teeth messed, using what's left to dissect and reflect on this mess. Her once safe home, now someone else's play zone, from whence she'll soon go. The farce of it. Developed world, developed shit. Developed arm. Will somebody care if my baby dies? Yes. Or does it depend on which side? You see, I don't always have sleepless nights, though God knows how many got done tonight. But it's just pictures in it. I don't know who's in them. I sure as hell didn't kill them. So what do you want me to do? Face the truth. Try it on for size. Stop this blatant denial. Try and save one nameless child. Stop wasting time. Wishing the next year away, because the Armageddon cometh anyway. Mm -hmm. It's all very well for me to say, you see, my home still stands. I get to make some future plans. Bam! Bam! Thank you, Uncle Sam. But I'd rather not hold your hand. You see, I know where it's been. <laughs> Up me, I mean. Ripping out my female heart. Pulling it apart. Because you might not slice me on the outside but you do sterilize me within. You stop creation, because I'm too scared to bring a child into this. Another nameless face on the front of the papers, a religious kamikaze heart. crusader, or a Sloan Ranger, or a hoodie on the street always in danger. But I'll keep trying to save them, the ones that we've got, and I will continue to speak out against the dangerous blood clotters no matter how much it shocks you. Because there are no words worth anything unless spoken honestly. Same way you will never justify this war to me 
or any other world atrocity in this paradoxically developed society. But I'll tell you what, I'll email you on the way down. Peace, hippies. Peace. Here. Please. Woo!